Hello everybody, welcome to uh, I'm using BlueStacks. I had to download AK APK Pure. But what is this? Now I got a message just today actually after I did upload uh, today is August 10th. Uh, Raphael Barufi texted me saying that if I downloaded APK Pure, I could download Metabot. <clears throat> Why does my voice keep cracking? Anyway, though, I could download Metabot S. Yeah, screw it. Let's just have the voice cracks. Anyways, <clears throat> um, it the images look like Metabots. I don't know if this plays like Metabots. Let's take a look, shall we? Eight with Unity. Occur. Mm hmm. One second, folks. Don't freaking crash on me. Okay, so we got adventure, store, multiplayer, quitting, options, inventory. Nobody came in to say hi. What the fudge? Who am I? What are these? Why am I level 20? <laughs> sure, I'll dare. We will fight you. <laughs> have Darby Is this my metabot? Okay. Riveting. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> You know, I should take a look at the controls. What the fuck is the con are the controls? Attack. Choose a robot which you want. You know what? J okay, sure. J just fight. Riveting. You lose. What the, what the fuck? We'll give you. Like, we give you a discount to buy your. No. Someone tell me what the fuck's going on. <laughs> It's time, one hour, life ability, yada yada yada. I only have 20 gems, okay. Self distort. That's my only metabot! How about some goddamn instructions? the start button one too many times you break the game one too many times wonderful okay so immediately from what I can tell we're on some kind of we're on ice we're facing a tank metabot uh, depending on how fast you go okay here's a robot which you want to see Yeah, it chose head last time and Tr 
terrific. I don't know what. So I've already lost an arm. I think I'm using my head, but which I don't even know what it does. Whoopee. Eight percent. What the fuck? So not only is it faster than me, it's also about 20 times stronger, if not... Yeah, about 20 times stronger. Just auto-attack. Yeah. Again, lose what? I have nothing to lose. I have nothing to gain either. Okay, I'm looking at my Metabot's abilities. Attack ability is... Compared to... From Adam's. Jesus. What the fuck is happening? There is nothing here. See, if we look at the stats here, we have a 291 life ability, 128 attack ability, defense ability is 83.2, velocity is 29.8. You would think my metabot should have the advantage in everything. Not even close. I don't know whether or not because I'm running this on the APX, but honestly, right now, I am far from even remotely impressed. I don't know what you're looking at, Wrath. Like, seriously. It is not. What is the point of show stats? Jesus. I hit attack method, not attack. I don't even know what my metabot's attacking with. Apparently nothing. Grab your popcorn, guys. I'm gonna speed this shit up.
So let's just answer the elephant in the room here. It's like, I'm still at 20. I waited like four minutes for the damn thing to load. Nothing happened. I'm assuming you're supposed to wait to buy this. The fuck just happened? Is this... This is like eight metabots in one or something? What the fuck happened to this thing? Weak as hell apparently and slow as hell. What the fuck happened to this thing? These are 20 gems each. Really bad. Yeah, I don't even know what I'm selling. Selling a hunk of garbage? Seriously, I don't even know what's happening right now. Again, is it because... Of no, I don't think it's the internet because this is still showing. Okay, his attack is higher than mine. My s Excuse me. Okay, I've just officially broken the damn game. Terrific. It really doesn't know what it's trying to do here. Face my invisible robot, ya fuck. Okay, well, regardless, let's just... Do I delete my profile now? It might be the better choice. Alright, well, while we have this time, let's just answer some of the big problems that I'm starting to see even before. Let's assume that what we see in front of us was not never a problem here. Like, the fact that right now I have no metabots. Let's ignore the fact that this guy is faster than the dummy meta the beginner metabot we got. Let's ignore the fact that this land is ice which is no good for two-legged metabots to begin with. Let's just throw that all out the window. Basic concepts that I've seen so far, based on my understandings here. If you lose a row battle, even in adventure mode here, you permanently lose your meta parts. So how the hell are you supposed to get it back? If you lose one battle, that means you basically have to wait... What is it, we're at 20 gems, the cheapest for, for some parts, they're like maybe 20 gems. So you basically have to wait two days minimum, because the second day gives you the sec 20 gems to buy a part, if you even know which part you lost. How is that going to work out for some of the more expensive and better metabots? There was a thing that showed up where it says, you know, watch the video, get a discount to buy your parts back. It's like, so you're constantly losing your parts. Now I know what you guys are saying. Well, if you win real battles, you get parts. Okay. So this is a giant ass cash grab. It's like, the adventure mode should be like the free play mode where it's like, you shouldn't actually be losing parts. You should be gaining very cheap parts. Like, here's the thing. The meta parts you can buy should be like, Let's say 100 gems, but every time you beat metabots like these, you only get like one gem, or the parts you get are only worth like one. So what the game will commit you to is spending a whole lot of time role battling these guys here, but regardless of whether or not you win or lose, but, but even if you lose, you don't lose any of your parts, otherwise glitches happen. You have to wait constantly. This gives a bad opinion on the game. It's like, I've lost twice, 
probably to a glitch some here. But yeah, so I no longer have them. I have a monstrosity that just doesn't appear. But anyways, though, so, uh, where was I on that? Yeah, I have no metabots after one lost roll battle on the adventure mode. You know, the thing that actually lets you do something. Multiplayer, I can understand. It's kind of like a gamble that way. That's kind of how it should be. But adventure mode being your base game. No, you should not be losing meta parts. Because, like I said in the beginning here, you're going to have to wait an entire day. So basically, it's just like, well, this app. No point actually opening the app for this phone game. Again, it might just be a glitch because I'm using uh, blue stacks with, with the APK Pure. But anyways, though. Uh, let's see here. Yeah. Uh, let's see, variety-wise. Why would they... Get, why is this our first opponent? Why is it a tank? Just like... They're trying to recreate that... The first roll battle in Rikusha and but the problem is, that was a grass field. It wasn't an ice or water field. If that was a field, you would have more or less always lost unless you could dodge. That's the other thing. It's like, is there an accuracy thing in here? Otherwise, this plays out a lot like uh, the Fire Emblem phone game. To which case, this is very slow. But I get what they were trying to do, where it's like, go back to core. But the problem is, like, there's a big, big difference in speeds and how is this how's this gonna account for multiple lanes i guess that's the other thing obviously the game just says uh you definitely don't have a metabot here so anyway so but yeah let's try a guest account see what happens now let's flip this one more time and say would my opinions have changed if i had one let's say i could actually continue Maybe, but I still would have noticed the point of, hey, you lost the road battle, you lost your meta part. Now you have to buy it back. I'm just like, what? Why? It's like, what do any of these other parts do? What is this? This is just an arm. And this, like, I'm assuming we're buying Rikusho, but... Considering what, considering what everything else looks like in the game... Well... What is Imagine Time? One hour. Is that how long it takes to repair itself? I can... I guess. I'm assuming this is saying you can buy all these other parts. <clears throat> for their 20 apiece. I guess this thing's called Fernando. It's a freebie. Yeah, right now I'm on a guest account here. So just compare our stats here. Attack ability, 128, defense ability, 832. So yeah, stat-wise, I am higher. But, as you saw during the fight, it's like, what is even my attack abilities? I did 8% damage, and one of his attacks did 100%. Guaranteed. Always. So, this thing's faster than me. Even if I buy Rakusho, velocity-wise, this is probably the same. It's like, we're on ice! This isn't rock, this isn't mountain. Desert, we'd be on sand, which is just as bad as ice. The auto attack system isn't working because you have to click on the guy first. I don't know what any of these are supposed to represent. This is like... And now there's just no point in roll battling. It takes over a minute and a half for it to run. The roll battle will end before then. Raph, I don't know what the heck you were thinking. Maybe your phone system is better. Maybe this whole glitch was never a thing. Maybe it's because I'm doing this on my, on my computer. That's the only way I know how to record this. But yeah, Raph, I hope you're having a better time on your phone than I am having on the computer here. But anyways, I'm just looking at the bigger picture here. It's like... We're missing a lot of things to help the game out. For one thing, it's like... What is the difference between my head and my arms? It's like... What is the damage output? Obviously, we've already seen that this thing can dish out way more damage than my own metabot. So that's problem number one. Considering this is the first fight. Again, probably a glitch somewhere. Um, ugh, where was my train of thought going with this? So yeah, I don't even know what I'm even attacking with. I'm assuming I clicked on my arm, but, but it takes the targeting system. Oh, whoopee, 8% whole damage. We'll see you next year when you go over here. Anyways, so, we don't know, there's no information talking about what my uh, single independent parts do. Even when I was on that stat screens, all it showed was, Arm is equipped, head is equipped, leg is equipped. But it doesn't tell me, like, this is the power output, this is how much health it has. That kind of stuff. It showed a bit of it for the admin metabots. This is the Fernando bot, which is free. Then you can buy it again. 
But that just kind of boils down to the point of, like, what is the point? Like, the Fernando bot shows that, statistic-wise, it should be stronger than this. But I'm instantly getting destroyed. And again, race back to the field I'm on. Does this change weekly or something? I have no freaking idea. There are no instructions. There's no... There is no uh, beginning guy that says, Hey, this is how this game works. Let's kind of get you started on the right foot here. Again, I might have to... That might relate to the fact that I'm on a computer, so that kind of thing just does not occur. I mean, does he have to count? But yeah, there's no introduction, which is bad, because, again, do we know what the game is? Do we know how to play? Is there a plot? Why am I facing a level 15 metabot with a level 1 dummy metabot, as best as I can put it? Why is it a female? Or at least it looks like a female. It could be a cross-dresser. Who knows? But, yeah, there is... I'm trying to find a good point in this, and the only thing I can say is the game is bugged, broken, or... This is, like, still in the... I don't even know. It's like, is Alpha supposed to come first, then Beta? This is, like, very, very far into Alpha, where it's like, you've made a huge mistake right off the bat. This is terrible. Anyways, I'm getting back to it. It's like... Um... Yeah, our options are just the store, which is should not should be titled differently from inventory. Like the way I always this is just my own personal preference. Is like when you hear inventory, it means things you have, but that should not connect you to the Metabot Mall to buy new parts and all that. That just seems really weird. Also, I just want to say that even if I bought any of the Fernando parts, it still wouldn't have helped me because the legs would still be the same. And it just closed down because like what the fuck just happened? The game doesn't even know what it's doing. Uh, let's see here. Anything else? It's like... It is a total piece of crap. Ag again, it's like... I don't know what the hype was. I don't know what's happening here. There's a giant bug on this, but again, it might have to be... It might be more related to this being an improper version. The fact that... This is taking more of a downloaded version I got from a website rather than the actual phone app. So the phone app data is probably correct. Uh, but the instructions I got were to just uh, go to ABK Pure, download that system. Though I think Raphael expected me to do this on my phone. But the problem being is that eventually the only way I can record it is on my computer. And I don't want to download APK onto my phone. I just... no thanks. Uh, let's see, what are the issues that we're seeing so far here? Okay, we talked about the battle system, which gives you no information. And again, most of these things we can probably chalk up to the fact that this is on the PC rather than the phone, which has, probably has most of the data that would fix all the problems I'm having right now. But anyway, so, just judging by what we, the comparisons here. Is it a good idea that you lose parts when you roll battle? I would have stuck this only on multiplayer because, or stuck that option on multiplayer. Because that's where the high risk, kind of high reward, you're supposed to be competing that way. When it comes to against the AI though, it should not have any punishment whatsoever. But again, that's probably because in the beginning match, it's supposed to be easy peasy. If you lose, you just go back to the inventory shop, click on the store, and just buy back the Fernando bot, which is zero gems. It's the freebie bot. So you can get your parts back that way. I think that's how the game was intended to. But I still don't agree with the whole losing your parts during the adventure mode. Uh, let's see. There's no instruct. There seems to be no data about your meta parts. How much damage they do, accuracy, uh, the velocity thing seems to be really odd. But again, it's probably because what got version, I'm on an ice field rather than probably a grass field or even just a city, which is probably the first area it's supposed to be. So there's that. Um, do I think it should have gone back to Metabots Core where you see the Metabots running to the center and then running back? I think they could have done what Metabots 9 did and just had an egg timer instead. Where it's like, load up time and then the action can begin. And the reason I said that is just simply because... Hmm, it kind of saves on the data so you can... Would save on some data so you can kind of fix some... Have more areas to fix some bugs and all that. Um, do I th think you can have more than one metabot? I'm assuming you can, but... Uh, if I had to guess throughout the adventure mode, I think you get might get your second metabot after you beat level 1, maybe? Perhaps? Give or take? Um, let see, anything else I can think of here? Excuse me. Uh, this doesn't seem to be a great selection of meta bots. Again, Fernando was the only one we could buy. Nothing was... Excuse me, uh, 200 gems. So at the 10, 20 thing, that's about... I'd say about 5 days before you can buy Fernando. But, yeah. I guess one of my gripes would be... Is there any reason... 
Let's say this game is working perfectly. I didn't have that glitch and I could go through adventure mode and all that. Does this game offer anything else that would actually want me to keep coming back? On the front page, no. This game does not offer anything that keeps you coming back on a daily basis. Like, it's a very simplistic system that it has up here. It's like, all we have is adventure mode and multiplayer. It's like, that's it. And some of you guys have been saying, well, don't, isn't that what most games do? Where it's just one mode and then that's it kind of thing? And, which is true, but the problem is, like, uh, let me... Uh, how, say this. There's always a hidden element where there's more to do. There's some kind of, like, break-off point that allows you to still play the same game, but it's just slightly different kind of thing. Uh, how can I put this? Um, like, I play the game called uh, Tap Wizard, or even some of the tapping games. Like, one basic thing is, like, you just tap, but you try to get things like automations and all that. And that becomes the new core mechanic after a while. But then, like, the side mechanic that I'm talking about is, um, with some of those tap games, it allows you to refresh, you get some bonus stuff to get, like, better equipment, you can get to higher levels faster kind of thing. But here, like, wh what would the side part be for Metabots here? It's just adventure mode. Sure, they, were pro they would probably be adding different things, like maybe a tournament or uh, defeat rare Metabots and all that. I'm guessing this is still in the earlier stages and that might be added. But just on the forefront right now, if this is trying to get players to stay on, I don't feel like this will go past someone playing uh, four good hours on the first day, followed by two hours on the second day, and then past that, they're just coming in just to grab the gem daily gems, maybe buy a metabot, see what's available, but... and, like, maybe try and complete the adventure mode. But past that, it's like, what is... What, what's left? It's like... It's just the multiplier after that. And the fact that you can lose your meta parts and then you have to buy them back. It's like, if you were to buy Rakusho for uh, the full set of Rakusho for like 100 gems, and in adventure mode, you just lost him. And you spent I mean, your entire gem. You just lost like 25 gems. And you can probably never get him back because from what we've seen in the store, he's not available. So you'd have to wait kind of thing. Or even that, um, that very rare meta bot piece or meta part that we saw which I don't know what the stats are. There was no information on that. Let's say that's what you bought and you lost a roll battle and you had the risk of losing that part. That's 140 gems you can never get back. There is a lot of... It's a, what I'm trying to point out here is it's a very high risk game for little to no payoff from what I'm seeing. And some of you guys are saying, well, going back to my original theory of you can probably get win a lot of <coughs> uh, cheap meta parts from the adventure modes and all that. It's like, okay, granted. But even still, it's like, is that enough to keep players coming back? Like, is just simply going to adventure mode, uh, being all the metabots, gathering up all these gems just to buy some stronger parts? Like, what else is there to this game that, in an unbugged system, what more is there to this? And that's just what I'm not seeing. It's like, again, this probably probably going to be added in, like, a rare metabot to fight, in which case that'll probably get people to come back. But as I see right now, where it's just adventure mode or multiplayer mode, that's really not offering a whole lot. Uh, let's see, is there anything else here? Um, I saw that there was an upgrade your part system. Uh, it doesn't seem to work for the basic dummy model, so you have to actually buy um, a higher quality metabots. So that's kind of interesting how they were trying to go with that. I guess that kind of goes to the po point of, is that really enough? From the look, from what I saw, remember seeing on the glitched out Metabot monstrosity that we saw there, it looked like I was getting a buff of 25. Okay, what am I adding 25 to? It's like, velocity, I think, only relates to the legs. So that, let's say 25 there, that's a pretty big jump, but... What kind of power am I getting from spending 20 gems with increasing value? Or maybe it wasn't 20 gems, but I think it was like 99 gems. So, 99 gems are increasing the power just by a flat 25. So, going from the 136 that was available, just... And that's just one of my parts. Just going up to... So, my total value would be uh, about one, 1... Let's say 150 for... To make things easier here. So, like, that's it. For 99 gems, you waited four, four days? Start with 20... Second day, second day, 30, 80, yeah, four days. You wait four days to upgrade one part just to get 25 extra power. Is that going to help you in adventure mode? I really don't know. Is that really worth it in the long run? 
I don't know, it depends how many times you can upgrade it, but I'm assuming it goes from like 99, now it's 150, now it's 200, it's like, just it's kind of skyrocketing almost. Again, who knows? So, do I think the level up systems would be okay in this? Um, again, I can't make too many, I can't make too many assumptions or I can't give a good review just because I didn't even get past I didn't even get a good fight out of this. So, like, I don't know if... If you beat the first metabot, it even... I don't even know if it drops a meta part for all I know. Um, honestly, I think this game could have done what... Other games have done, is, like, separate money from gems. I know it might seem like a bit of a cop-out, but... Just, like, if you want the strong... Really strong metabots, you use gems, or you wait. If you want common metabots that can help you through story mode or adventure mode, you use the coins. And when, and no matter what, when you sell meta parts, they only give you coins. Those coins can be used to upgrade uh, your meta parts, as we saw before. But at a certain threshold, let's say after 10 upgrades, now you have to use gems in order to unlock the next 10 level path kind of thing. So that's what the game designers could have done. I'm not seeing that here. It's just like, only, we only wanted to use one system. Well, it's not very good, I think. But again, it's like... Again, I don't know what the drop rates are. I don't know how this entire thing is supposed to work because again web version is looks like it's missing a crap ton of data compared to what's on the phone but this is just what i'm saying here so if you guys want to download the uh apk pure then you can download the metabots maybe you guys will have better luck or maybe Raphael can give me some better instructions or let you guys know kind of thing but on my first glance here uh do not play the blue stacks version just because there is a major major bug there's missing data Ignoring the fact that I have really bad internet. Like, I'm at two out of four bars here. Like, ignoring that. The first fight was still the same regardless. I was still fighting. Like, even on the guest account, I'm this level one metabot facing a level 15 or 20 level metabot that just one-shots me and destroys my parts. If I'm lucky, I can get a hidden. I do 8%. I'm sure as heck that's not supposed to be the first fight. And if it is, shame on the creator. That is a horrible system. If this was on the phone I, and that was my first experience, I would instantly uninstall. This gives a bad example of what Metabots is supposed to be. And this the developer was trying to bring it back. It's doing no justice to the series. Anyways, right, that's all I got for you guys today. Um, Go for the phone version. Don't use the Boostex version. Yeah. See you guys later.